Y'all, you know, Asian dog was signed to him too. She got out of that deal, just like this young lady right here. What is it that they making them do mentally? They're running them away from their deals. Cause Asian dog walked away just like she did after Asian dog did her. Talk to me. You know, uh, yeah, we're going to get into uh, this beautiful young lady. Her name is, uh, she was rapping in Channing. She died at the age of 26. And for them, it's the story that I'm, I'm trying to ease up on, I'm not understanding how she really died. I think it was more than an overdose because she already got out of her deal with uh, Gucci Mane. And Big Scar, he was a Gucci Man artist too. And that was somebody close to her too. So what is going on here? What is it that they had to do? Or they know, or they had, you know, or they saw of this. What is something happened to them? Now she gone, and, and hence Enchanted gone, and Big Scar gone. And they both were Gucci Man artists. Now, so this ain't right now. So, it ain't right. Okay, I want to give a shout out to uh, Hood Educator. Because that's where I got this footage from, okay? Only this footage I got, this footage. Because I looked all over for this footage and um, I couldn't find it. But this is, it. now, now I do have, hold on, y'all. Okay, before I let you hear the, the video that Hood educator, educated. I guess it's <laughs> hood educator. Uh, have other boyfriend talk about. I got this information from another uh resource, and it said Texas based rapper in Cheney has died after an overdose, reportedly left her in an intensive care unit. This is kind of weird. This is kind of weird. Now, let's finish reading, y'all. Because you know I'm about to get into this, right? You know I'm about to dive into it. The star who real name is Channing Nicole Larry, 26, was signed to Gucci Man. 1017 label is recently until earlier this year. Now, she left him, allegedly. She left him, okay? And she had a, a her friend named Scar. Look at the beginning of the video. You'll see he was a Gucci man artist, and he died too. Now, I don't know what's going on, what they had to do with the what's going on, but something ain't right with Gucci man. Okay, allegedly. Now, now, this is what the boyfriend said. She came to my house. I think this the boyfriend got him. I'm just trying to get it right. The reason why I said this the boyfriend because this is the same guy who's going to speak. That's supposed to be our manager. Okay. She came to my house the last four days to get clean. Okay. She tried her best and I did everything I could, could to help her. She tried. Now, what did she do to try to do her best? A representative from her management team told the shade room who confirmed her death on Tuesday evening. All right. Larry boyfriend, enchanted boyfriend, okay? Motion God Bandman posted a photo of the couple on Facebook, okay? While she was still fighting for her life, y'all, with the captain. 
caption, I'm sorry. You finally found that peace that you are looking for. Y'all hurt me bad. Mm. Listen to what he said, cause now he gonna talk about this in uh hood educated video. He said, Larry uh Larry boyfriend, that's enchanting boyfriend, motion god bed abandonment posted a photo of the couple on Facebook while she was still fighting for her life with the caption you finally found that piece that you would, was looking for looking for you y'all hurt me bad okay this is Gucci man okay I don't understand why um, Agent Dog left. I made a video of that. Agent Dog left Gucci Man, and she was excited to be around Gucci Man. And then here this young lady go right here. Uh, the overdose from being with Gucci Man as a uh, uh, producer, but she left him okay hmm is this Gucci, Gucci man is this the real Gucci man I just asked the question okay let's finish let's continue Larry profile this is enchanting I'm gonna stay enchanting instead of Larry okay but they always say people last name Enchanted Profile remains active on 1017 website. The bio says that Larry began in music after high, a graduating high school. Okay. That's Enchanted, y'all. They call Larry. The rapper is quote on the website as describing her style as trapping blues. Okay. Other people can relate to the things I say. I might help somebody through any situation. They can listen to me and find peace, she said. Enchanting YouTube page has generated 4 million views in total. And she has around 660,000 monthly stream on Spotify. In 2020, Enchanted appeared on a mixtape Gucci Mane presence, So Icy Summer. In addition to her music, Corelli Larry, in, okay, I'm going to say Enchanted. Enchanted is also a creator on OnlyFans where she bossed over 20,000 likes. Okay. Enchanted explained in a 2021 interview that she was born in an army brat in Germany, then moved to Atlanta before family settled in Fort Worth, Worth where she considered home. All right, y'all. In 2023, Larry was profiled by the Dallas Observer. Okay, she told the uh, website about her behavior. Hold on, now. okay. Here we go. I apologize. In 2023, in in Cheney was pro profiled by the Dallas Observer. Okay. She told the website about her beginning in music in the church choir and beginning of cheerleader in high school. After graduation, after graduation, um, she worked doing hair and nail before going into hip hop. Now this is what she put right here. I feel like music was always something that was easy for me. I felt like I was musically inclined, always. It was something that I told, I thought should probably 
put more time and effort into because it was natural, you know, instead of trying to force a talent, she said. At the time, Enchanted was working with producer Jay White, who introduced her to Gucci Mane. Okay. And Channy also spoke of her love of the growing number of female artists in the, uh, the rhythm of hip-hop. It's looking hopeful for more and more women to just continue to blow up. I feel it was a male-dominant sport, but now it's becoming more feminine-dominated. Feminine I love that for the girls, she said. And now, here we are with the uh, video footage of Enchanted Boyfriend uh, on live. Okay, and I, like I said, I want to give a shout out to uh, Educator. Who Educator, because this is where I got this particular, uh, particular video from, okay? Let's listen to this. What I want everybody to do on this hoe is everybody that's on this page, I want y'all to go back to the post that I posted before this, before I went live, look at my last post. Now, I can't find that post, but I can say this. It said, Enchanting Partner and Fellow 1017 Records Artists, who's goes, who goes by J Honey, Damn D, posted video or her and said that they came up together, got rich together. We signed to 1017 together and I'm honored to spend your last moment of life with you. I love you. Now, I don't know. I guess that's him, I guess. Now, I guess this the post is he talking about because I don't see nobody just say and Chen is currently on life support. She fighting all oh, y'all just keep I am still looking for his last post, y'all, that he posts. I don't see it. Wow, too young, too young. Well, this is not her last post from him. And this is when she was taking off life support, y'all. Off life support? Sheesh. Wow, I hate this happened to her. But Gu Gucci Mannion said she came to, oh, he the one said she came to my house, house the last four days to get clean. She came to Gucci Mannion's house the last four days. That's who, that's who house she went to? Oh, Lord. What you mean by that, Lanita? Gucci Mannion said she came to my house the last four days to get clean. She tried her best and I did everything I could to help her. She tried. What you do to try to help her? A, pre, a, pre, uh, a representative from her management team told the shade room who continued to, uh, wait a minute, let me, let me hit this. Okay, they told the shade room that on Tuesday, okay? Larry boyfriend motion uh God I already showed y'all this. Uh you finally found that piece that you was looking for you that looking for you. Y'all hurt me bad. I don't know, sound like somebody's jealous. Alright, y'all I'm back here. I I can't find that footage. I can't I can't find what he said. Uh my thing is y'all why was she at Gucci Mane house getting clean? And he said he tried. What do you mean by he tried? 
He can't clean, get nobody clean. What he he did to get her clean? Oh Lord. I'm just briefly go through the shit quick because I was gonna wait until after the funeral to speak the truth on what the hell happened and what's going on with Channing and over the past year or so. I don't know how long it's been since you've been going through this. But I figured out late, very, very late. And I tried to do something about it. So I'm gonna try to go read the messages first. First, I wanna show y'all in the message was being explained to me to give her the pills. <clears throat> Now the message y'all are saying, y'all keep saying, I said, I gave her the pills. Now, I don't know where y'all see that I'm saying that at. I keep telling y'all, the family told me to give her the pills. Hold up. What family told you to get that young girl some pills? See, y'all got to be careful with these, with these pills that y'all taking. Now, she could have been taking some pills that somebody wanted her to take. And not the pills that she been been taking. Maybe these pen, these pills were too enhancing for her. Drugs is drugs. Y'all got to stop messing with a lot of this stuff because it's not good for your heart, young people. I I, I know y'all don't want me to say that, but you know, pills can speed your heart rate up to where your heart can just burst. This man saying to me he gave her some pills. And the family, what family told you to get her some pills? One, okay, so you trying to tell me that she left Gucci, Gucci man. Okay, uh, this video, I just let y'all hear this. I don't want to confuse y'all. Let's listen. Let's go. Hello. The family told me to give her the pills. Look at the message. If you see the message, I say, it's a bag of that shit left. It's a bag of it left. She hasn't taken pills since Saturday when she was, this is when she was coherent and doing what she wanted to do. She already took that shit Saturday on her own. Sunday, she didn't take shit. When you see the message and they told me what to do, I didn't do it. I still got them all. I still got the same bag that y'all see. I said I had. I still got it over here. I didn't give it to her. Oh, no. Now, my whole problem with the mother is just that I didn't like. When she died, I called the 911 first. Boom. I got, got off the phone with the paramedics and they got to my apartment because I don't know where y'all think this happened at, but she's been at my house for the last seven days. Seven days. When the ambulance, when the paramedics got here and they started working on her, I called her mother immediately. That's what you see. Because I told her, hey, I explained, I couldn't even explain to her, right? Because I kept breathing like I couldn't. I ain't never experienced that shit before. I ain't never. So when I'm breathing like that, I'm trying to. Okay, so what is it that you experience? <sighs> y'all, y'all, oh my God. If she won that big, probably hadn't an E. I think somebody gave her some bad stuff. process and slow down and explain what the fuck is going on like i'm trying to tell i couldn't she was calm and then it was even making me more dramatic so i'm like why are you so calm right now i'm losing my mind her mom calmed me down her mom was calm enough to calm me down and i'm thinking why are you so calm i just died. like why is everybody acting normal why is you acting because she's supposed to calm you down 
But you don't know how she feeling on in. You don't know how that woman feeling on the inside. Stop worrying about how somebody else feel and worry about what you did to her. Excuse me, y'all. I'm sorry. Normal. I'm tripping. I'm losing my mind right now. What the fuck I just seen with my eyes? So they wouldn't let me ride in an ambulance with them. I wouldn't. I wouldn't blame them. I told the mom I dropped my location. If you see at two thirty, two something, dropped my location. Said we're going to this hospital. I drove up to the goddamn hospital. They wouldn't let me inside the waiting room where you see where I did that video that was in the lobby. Cause it took her, it took her mama two hours what? and 30 minutes what? just to tell me she was on the way. But look, who are you to try to tell the mama what to do? You don't know where the mama was at the time when you called her. Why is she getting an attitude with the mother? That's what I'm trying to find out. That ain't your prerogative. It's just why you get her those pills and what you add to the pills. Somebody did something. Took her two hours and 30 minutes just to tell me she was on the way. So they won't let me in the back. I'm in the front of the hospital by myself. Nobody by myself. At this point, the doctors can't even get in touch with the mama. I can't get in touch with the mama. I don't know what's taking so long. This is before she told me she was on the way. Because I'm thinking as soon as I tell her, drop everything that you're doing, come now. No, they took two hours and 30 minutes to say they was on the way. Then took another 45 minutes. So I was there by myself. So when I didn't have nobody else to call and nobody was picking up the phone, I decided to go live, calm myself down, talk to everybody and say, if everybody could, just pray. Somebody called me while I was on live. I forget I even did that. I was losing my mind. I was by myself. No, I was calling people. Nobody's picking up. Everything that I said, I got the receipts to prove it. Look at the text messages that I sent you. I'm asking her, because they won't let me in. So I'm like, have y'all made it there yet? I'm asking, have they met? Look at the timestamps. Everything that I'm saying checks out. I was there by myself for hours before they showed up. And I'm trying to figure out why everyone is so fucking calm. Why am I the only person losing my shit? Because you're the only person did something to them. That's why. Everybody's trying to calm me down. Know what you did. If you look at the message, if you look at the message, the messages that I posted before this live, you see what they did? You see what I said? I, the motherfuckers that they brought here, everybody that knows me know I don't fuck around like that, so. I'm gonna leave what the fuck. Like, come on, bro. I just tried to keep that shit cool and not just wait, let everybody mourn, and just, cause I know what the fuck's going on, I know the facts. So it's like, motherfuckers should feel a fucking shame. Over a year and a half, it's been like this. By the time she came to me, she was already deteriorated. Uh, over a year and a half? She wanted to, she just signed a fucking one album deal. She wanted me to help her with her album. She wanted me to help her get clean, all that. That was the whole plan, that's why she was with me. That's why she was with me all the time. Because we were working on that. Now, that, that's know. strange how you said y'all were working on that and Gucci Man were working on that too. Somebody wasn't working on that. Not if you gave her three pills. Not if you gave her three pills. She wasn't trying to be clean. Or y'all, somebody ain't telling the truth. Somebody not telling the truth.